to the Darien State. On today's virtual field trip, we're going to be discussing animal adaptations as we design, build, and test a bird's beak to figure out what the ideal beak design would be to collect a variety of types of foods. Before we begin our experiment, it's important for us to identify the different types of beaks and how they work. All around the world, there are thousands of species of birds, each one of which has unique characteristics that they have adapted over time. Adaptation refers to the genetic mutation of an animal, in this case a bird, as they adapt or change their physical body so that they can better survive in their environment. Different environments around the world are going to offer different opportunities for nutrition sources. So, the environment in which a bird lives is going to shape their diet. The shape of a bird's beak is heavily influenced by their diet, meaning if you look at the shape of their beak, you can kind of tell what they would be eating. Birds who are primarily seed eaters will have short and thick conical beaks that are great for cracking those seeds apart. Birds of prey, which need to be able to tear apart the meat that they eat, have sharp, curved beaks ideal for the task. Wading birds, which spend most of their time in or near water, have long, spear-like beaks perfect for fishing. For insect eaters, like warblers, a thin, pointed beak allows the bird to quickly and easily capture their prey. In many cases, these adaptations result in speciation. Speciation re refers to the situation in which an organism develops an adaptation or set of adaptations that creates an entirely new species. A really great example of this are the Galapagos finches, also known as Darwin's finches. Now that we have a better idea of different birds' beaks and their ideal use, we're going to apply that knowledge towards our experiment. We're going to be designing a bird's beak using regular household materials to see how efficiently we can collect three different types of food. As with all of our experiments, we're going to be following the scientific method. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about scientific method, check out our virtual field trips for rocket launch and egg drop. Now that I have my design, I've laid out what I plan to use, including all of my different materials. My goal is to replicate the shape of a pelican's beak using a piece of paper folded up underneath a fork. On top of that fork, I'm going to have, hinged together with a rubber band, a spoon. My goal with using this spoon is that it will act like the top part of a bird's beak and close down around the food. Now that we've finished building our beak, we're going to be testing it to see how efficiently it can pick up three different types of food. We're going to keep our trials equal by making sure that we only allow 30 seconds to collect each type. We're only going to count the food that ends up in our bird's stomach, which is represented here by a cup. After each trial, count how many of each type of food you were able to collect. For some of the smaller foods, we recommend using grouping methods, like making groups of 5 or 10, in order to help you count faster. After our experiment, we recorded all of our data on the chart here. As you can see, our beak was best designed for collecting seeds most efficiently. If you plan on doing this experiment at home, you can try designing other types of beaks, or even turn it into a contest with your family to see who can design the beak that collects most types of food efficiently. Additionally, if you want to use other types of food than what we did, we recommend using only dry foods. We hope you enjoyed today's virtual field trip to the Daring Estate. If you're planning on recreating these activities at home, be sure to take photos and videos and tag us on Instagram at Daring. See you next time.